In this problem, we're asked to factor completely 2x squared minus 50. Well, how many terms do I have in this? Well, notice there are only two terms. And what a lot of students do at this point is they go, okay, two terms, is it the difference of two squares? So if we look over here, the difference of two squares, that's the case where there are two terms, there has to be a minus sign between them. Well, we have two terms, one, two. We definitely have a minus sign between them. And both terms have to be perfect squares. Well, let's look at our term. Is 2x squared a perfect square? Here's a list of the first 10 perfect squares. Notice two is not among them. And is 50 a perfect square? Nope. It's not among them either. So a lot of students at this point go, oh, it's not the difference of two squares. I can't factor it. But that's because they've forgotten to do the very first step in every factoring problem, which is pull out a common factor if it exists. Well, are there any common factors between 2x squared and 50? They definitely do not have an x in common, but does 2 divide evenly into 50? Yes. So now I can pull the 2 out, and it's going to leave me with x squared minus 2 goes into 50 25 times. So now if I look at my resulting binomial here, it has no common factors left. So this is the point at which you ask yourself, is it the difference of two squares? There are definitely two terms. There's a minus in between the two terms. And is this a perfect square? Yes. Is 25 a perfect square? Yes. It's 5 squared. So now my resulting binomial can be factored by the difference of two squares. So I have a 2 that I factored out to start with. It just stays in front. And now the x squared minus 25 is going to factor into the difference of two squares. And the square root of x is the first term in each binomial. The square root of 25, which is 5, is the last term. And one of these binomials has to have a plus and one has to have a minus. Does it matter which one comes first? No, it's your choice. It would have been equally correct to write x minus 5 before the x plus 5. So this is factoring our binomial completely. If I want to quickly check it, that's always a good thing to do. And to do it, you're going to foil out the binomial first, the binomials. So I'm going to get x times x is x squared. x times negative 5 is minus 5x. Five, 5 times x is plus 5x. And 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. Notice the middle two, two terms add to 0. So now all I have to do is distribute the 2 into that binomial. And I will get 2 times x squared is 2x squared. 2 times negative 25 is negative 50. Was that my original problem? Oops, I meant this one is my original problem. Yes. So now you know that this answer is correct.